Hello fellow floss tubers. This is Lynn Wilches, um, Love to Cross Stitch. And it's been six months since I have been on here. I'm going to try. This is like the third time I've re-recorded this video. So I'm getting kind of frustrated. Um, I'm on the old computer. And it's just as bad as it's always been. Uh, I've got the new program on a new computer and I got it on the black screen right now so I have to figure out how to sync it um, get me back on the video so once I do that then I'll get moving and do a better video alright the reason why I've been gone for the last six months is I lost my father in March this year uh, three days before his 85th birthday so that's been rough um, on all of us. Uh, we in earned him in June, and there goes the video again. So we in earned him at Tahoma National Cemetery in Kent, Washington. And again, I'm losing the sinking part. So. Bear with me. I'm going to try and do the best I can on this. If it doesn't work this time, I'm going to go ahead and post it because it's been six months and I know you've been wondering what I've been up to. In all honesty, I haven't done much of anything. Um, with Dad passing, I really haven't um, had the motivation. Uh, he was... anyway it's hard to talk about <laughs> so I um, at the time that he went in for surgery I um, was working on the modern folk embroidery stitch along and forgive me for taking my time but I'm waiting for this thing to sync with my voice so in saying that, I am happy to say I'm pretty caught up. I'm doing this month, and I'm hoping to have this month done here in the next week. I'm probably going to work on it this afternoon. So, this is this month's worth of work. I got a lot of it. Come up. So I've got a lot of it done. Um, sorry about that. Like I said, I'm going to be waiting for my computer to um, stay with me instead of getting ahead of me or behind me. So here I'm going to show you the rest of it the best I can without uh, losing my thing. So. so this is how much I've gotten done, which is quite a bit and it is huge it is so much bigger than anything I've done so far uh, it's amazing that I even signed up for this but it was it was out of my comfort zone I, I guess you could say so I thought what the heck why not try it and I've really been enjoying it um, I've been taking out almost half of what I put in, but um, that's okay. That's part of learning a new technique. So uh, I was working on that, and then um, I was also working on this angel. Um, I had set her aside for quite a while, so I really hadn't been working on her um, till two three weeks ago so that's halfway decent um, I went to seminar which is cool and in seminar uh, I took a class that was quilts of hearts this was out of my comfort zone big time 
Uh, I wanted to take a class with the friend that I went with. So, so far that's where I am with it. I have a lot more work to do on it. And then that will be done. Um, beading is, is kind of fun. I do enjoy it. Um, I do like this. It's just kind of weird. Um, so anyway. And then I took another class, which is, uh, this one was Winter Roses, which was kind of fun. And my other class, my last class was this one. Actually, there was another one in designing. So, oops, upside down. So this is a shadow, shadow work. And that was a new technique that was fun and easy. And I just need to do the stem and uh, the center of the flower, and then it will be done. So I'm actually getting a few things accomplished. Um, I've been working on, actually, when I go to my mother's, I've been pulling out my black and white quilt and quilting on that for my daughter, Kat. And she's expecting that for Christmas. And did you get the point where I said she is expecting it for Christmas? Because whether it gets done by Christmas is another story. So, that is basically where I am. Um, like I said, I don't have a lot to report. But for those of you that were following me, I figured it would be nice if I got something out there. Again, I apologize for the video. Um... I am going to work really hard on getting the new computer to get that program going for me and um, once I do that then I should be able to do some videos. I need to figure out how to post captions and photos and stuff on that one but that's okay. And unfortunately I don't have a tip. Um, I thought of a tip when I was in San Diego but uh, it didn't happen so and good question so anyway I don't have that um, the next month is going to be doing uh, implants in the side of my mouth and I'm sure that you noticed that they're missing right here so anyway um, I had a bridge that went bad and so then they decided to do two implants and a crown so Lynn's not happy because Lynn hates dental work but um, hopefully that'll take care of it and this tooth that has been missing for 25 years had been a problem since I was a teenager so Hopefully this will take care of it. I won't deal with it anymore, etc., etc. But who knows? Lynn doesn't do things normally. So, life is complicated. Life is fun. And, yeah, that's life. <laughs> so, anyway. Um, oh, we did adopt a three-year-old cat about a week and a half ago. So, I'm really tickled with that. And she's a doll. She's lovable. She's just trying to get used to the to my husband and I so um, it, it's so cool to have another member of the family and so anyway alright I'm in my computer room because that's where I keep this old computer now and um, I'm gonna wish you all the best may you get a lot more cross stitch and um, stuff done than I have done recently so best wishes and I will work on getting you another hint. So take care and have a great day.